where is greatness found? We think about greatness, we usually think about people that have gotten to certain levels and echelons of success. World champion sports heroes and best-selling authors and Academy Award-winning actors and people who win Nobel Prizes and do TED Talks and all these other different things. But is that really the quintessential definition of greatness or is greatness even more widespread than we realize? I've got something I want to encourage you with, my friend, today in recognizing your own greatness and the great influence that you have in the lives of every single person that you know. So if you want a little inspiration, encouragement, and uplifting empowerment, then come on, my friend. We're going to dig into the soil of this together. Welcome back to my channel. My name is D. Grant Smith. I am the growth farmer for personal development through the lens of spirituality and storytelling. Storytelling is a big part of what we do here on this channel. And if you are new, welcome. If you have returned from uh, coming here and, and being a subscriber, thank you. Welcome back. I appreciate your subscription. I appreciate your connection. I appreciate your support. What I have to share with you today is a perspective, hopefully a perspective shift that allows you to see greatness in a wider and greater capacity because there is greatness inside of you, my friend. And here's the thing. We typically think of greatness in terms of accolades or levels of achievement. These are superficial in a sense. These are external qualifications that we place and attach to the idea of greatness. But greatness is so much more than that. And here's an example of what I mean. I'm going to say a name. You've heard this name. You're going to go, yeah, that dude was great. But here's a little bit something that you might not be as aware of. Muhammad Ali, considered to be in the sport of boxing, whether you're a super fan or not, to be the greatest. Many consider him still to be the greatest of all time. Mike Tyson considers him to be the greatest of all time. Uh, Evander Holyfield, Lennox Lewis, legends of the past, legends of the present, consider Muhammad Ali to be the greatest of all time. Was Muhammad Ali perfect in his record? No. Did he lose? Yeah. Did he lose big? Sometimes. However, Muhammad Ali, from the time before he became heavyweight champion of the world to well after he had lost and was probably way past his prime and maybe should have retired and stayed retired, he retired a couple times. The entire time, Muhammad Ali had this statement about himself. I am the greatest. And he told himself he was the greatest, and he told the world he was the greatest before he ever fought Sonny Liston and, and won the first championship. Now, why is this significant? Well, Muhammad Ali recognized that greatness wasn't a matter of actually winning a belt. It wasn't the championship that made him great. It was his self-concept. It's what Neville talks about when he says, it's your concept of self that determines your reality. And every single one of us, have the I am God dwelling within us. Infinite power. Yes, infinite power. Greatness lives inside of you. Will you recognize the greatness that lives inside of you and will you align yourself with it, with your thoughts, with your feelings, and with your consistent patterns? Because it's one thing to do affirmations trying to Use the affirmations to make something happen. But as I talk about in this video, which is a different way of looking at AI, affirmations plus imagination, and let's go ahead and throw heart and feeling into it. The power of the heart is 5,000 times the power of the mind. So yes, mindset is a very important aspect of us changing our lives and continuing to evolve into the best versions of ourselves. But it's also important that we bring feeling into this experience. However, if we are using any sort of technique, whether that is meditation or journaling or affirmations or sats or imagination or whatever, believing that it's the tools that build the house 
I'm sorry, my friend, that's not the way that it works. The builder builds the house. And the builder is your infinite self. And it is also you aligning and living from the state of consciousness that you already are the person that you desire to be. So this is exactly what Muhammad Ali did. He told himself he was the greatest before his mind fully believed it, but he lived from that place. He chose to align himself with that, which means that you in your infinite greatness have the capacity to do that too. And let me give you another way that you can employ this greatness in your life, regardless of what your job is, because this isn't about your job or your career or anything else. It's all about you. But recognize that the greatness that lives in you has an influence over the way that other people feel. The ways that you show up, showing up with confidence, showing up with belief in yourself, showing up knowing that you have everything that you need and have all that it takes for you to succeed in any endeavor that you take on. There is a powerful force that lives within you and that you already are. You don't have to jump through hoops. You don't have to convince yourself. You just need to be still and know that I am God. Very powerful scripture in Psalms. Be still, know that I am lives in you and that you are not only connected to I am, you are one with I am, which means that greatness is in your DNA. It's in your breath. It's in your heartbeat. It flows through your veins. It's in your energy field. And from this awareness that greatness is inside of you, you can evoke that greatness out of you. Here's an example of the one way that I am utilizing this in my life. I do a little bit of part-time work teaching students of elementary, middle, and high school different levels of reading. And I recognize that really what my job is, isn't to teach them reading. There's a whole program that does that for them. My job is to empower them to believe in themselves because when they believe in themselves, then the things that they're learning become easy to receive and easy to employ. A lot of the students that I've worked with have told themselves all kinds of negative stories about how they can't, how it's impossible, how they're not good enough. And I hear them tell this to me and we press pause on that moment and we say, we're going to talk about ourselves completely differently. Because you do have the power and you do have the ability and you do have the capacity to be able to do all of these things and even more. I recognize that in tutoring these students, I am teaching and hopefully influencing positively the leaders of the future, the next Nobel Peace Prize winners, the next quantum physicists, the next brilliant creative storytellers the next great teachers of the world, the next great world leaders, CEOs, parents, inspirational figures. I see that in them. And I recognize that, yes, I'm going to teach them some reading, but the most important thing that I can do is to teach them to believe in themselves. That's why I begin every hour of work with all of the students that I'm teaching reading with a simple affirmation practice. And I tell them why we're doing the affirmation practice. And I say three things. They repeat the same things after me, but they talk about themselves. And most of them have gotten used to doing this with me and they get really excited about this because I'm the only one that does it. I don't want to be the only teacher that does this. I'm trying to influence teachers and taking this on too, because our ability to help students believe in their greatness transforms the way that they show up and the way that they live their lives. We can do this beyond just the interactions that we have with people that we are quote unquote teaching. We can do this with every interaction that we have by seeing the best in others, seeing the greatness in others. We are also recognizing the greatness in ourselves because you can only see in somebody else what is being reflected back to you from yourself. So make a practice of seeing greatness in others. And I promise you, you will see greatness more and more in yourself. If you want to grow in more of this kind of confidence, this level of self-concept, 
then I encourage you to check out my course, Confidence Like a Lion. You'll discover inside this course how to access the lion that lives inside of you. Now, it doesn't matter whether you consider yourself a type A personality or an alpha male or female. That's not what this is about. This is about harnessing confidence, peace, presence, without having anything to prove to anybody else. Once again, it's called Confidence Like a Lion. I'll put a link for it down in the description below. If this message resonates with you, you recognize already the greatness that lives inside of you, and you are harnessing that every day, drop down in the comments and let me know. If this isn't quite where you are yet in your confidence process, but you recognize that you have the capacity for greatness, drop down in the comments and let me know. And if you want more help directly in becoming the greatest, best version of you, operating in power, operating in wholeness, operating in confidence, and embodying love in every area of your life, reach out to me. I have coaching options available. I would love the opportunity to work with you. You can find out about that in the description below. I believe in you, my friend. I love you. I appreciate you being here. Have a beautiful, blessed day. I'll see you soon.